Siesta Miru. And next, so outside of Kinokuniya. And there's Kinokuniya. Many, many years ago, 10 years ago, I always uh, used to sit here and just read the books. It's not the books that interest me, but it's actually these things here that interest me. They have a display of rocks here like the uh, Ammonite Pavlovia. Of course, you can go to a museum, a geological museum to look at all these rocks, but it's more fascinating when you're able to put a price tag on it. Like here, this is Topaz and it's 530 ringgit. And there's a couple of uh, weird looking things here like uh, fossils. And it's for sale. You can own your own fossil. Like this one here, this one is like cool. Tribal, trilobites. Isn't that the like, name for caveman? You can see all these very cool something like a tusk or a teeth so this is it's quite interesting it's better to see this and there is a price tag to it you can actually purchase it if you go to a museum or geolo geological museum you can't purchase the things that you see in there but here you can which is very cool indeed very cool and almost the coolest thing ever is this one here the copper you can see copper at its natural form better than those uh, you know in the telephone poles or telephone wires this is all natural very interesting Kinokuniya thousands of books but it's the rocks that interest me I haven't been here in years inside Kinokuniya. Another interesting display in Kinokuniya is this thing here. This uncolored, uncolored version of Asterix a comic strip. Only a couple of uh, figures here is colored. The chicken, the what called, what's that? Uh? Caterpillar. No idea. Fifth, it says 50 ans Islamanite. And look at the price tag, 16,000 ringgit. Oh, that's a lot of money, that's about 4,000 US dollars for this thing. And all they could do well, is uh, color it actually, since it's so expensive. Very cool. Very expensive. And there are other stuff here, like uh, Sin City. Mr. Sandman at the back there, and Joker, Harley Quinn, and a very flat chested bad girl. Disturbingly flat chested. Eyes are looking really weird. Again, the, there's a disturbingly lack of fat in the chest area. This one, I do not know who that is. Poison Ivy needs a couple of dots on her armpit and they are very realistic statues of Will Smith as death stroke is it? or dead shot or sorry dead shot there's Killer Croc there there's uh, Jar Jared Leto's a, uh, Joker there is the Superman is kind of like expensive, maybe 686, 676 ringgit for Will Smith's statue. But when you look at the fine print at the bottom of the the plate, it says it's manufactured in China, so that goes the value of the statue. 
Anything manufactured in China is either rubbish or good. Take your pick. There's a couple of uh, statues here from, well, Batman. Lots and lots of Batmans here. There's a Scarecrow there too, Harley Quinn. I prefer that Harley Quinn than this Golden Age Harley Quinn. Wow, 360 ringgit. Thanks. There's a limited edition oh, Luke Skywalker. 445 bucks. That's cool actually. Interesting. Ah, I do remember buying V for Vendetta trade paperback from here and a couple of trade paperbacks and then I found in the internet where you don't need to pay to get your comic fix. It's a very tall fountain. I reckon the is as high as five stories. That faucet. It's a very nice view from Kino Kuniya. The pressure on that fountain must be very high. I think we'll make a girl explode if you shoot it in her, you know, where. This is the Japanese section of Kinokuniya.
えますかこれコードサービスかなんかあそっちいいほぼこっちがいいんだけど
regular comic book. Nice. I mean, oh my god, this one's huge. That, this is huge too. Oh my god. What's this? Complete set? Why is it so tall? I don't understand. The complete sets are here actually. There are four of them. The fourth one is here. One, two, three, four, and five. You can buy them here, but this is also very heavy. Oh, so many good stuff here. These are like <coughs> door stoppers. Heavy. If you have money to spend, then spend it on all these things. Definitely. So this is Kinokuniya. Awesome place. Very, very awesome. So I think I'm going to go to, uh, what should we call it? What's that place called already? Uh, Avenue K. I'm going to go to Avenue K and have some food. Yep, Avenue K. Next stop. Why is it so huge? I might think. Of all the comments that I would recommend, I would recommend this one here. V for Vendetta. Yes, if you like Anarchy, this is the book for you. Like a dystopian future, this is the book for you. It's only 84 bucks. Roughly about 20 US dollars, less than 20 US dollars. Yeah. This is the toilet paper edition because the paper is toilet quality. You can tear it off and wipe your ass, no problem. Good stuff, the story. And the art too. Thank you, Dave Gibbons. Thank you, Alan Moore. Let's get out of here. So that's Kinokuniya for you. He was asked by a fat man in a pink shirt to not video. So we can't go into Kinokuniya videoing. It's a very nice experience going inside there and uh, perusing all the stuff, novels. Uh, graphic novels, art book. Ah, Kino Kuniya is very famous for its art books, especially in the Japan uh, section. Art books are lovely, but the price is very expensive. So come to Kino Kuniya. Look at the awesome art books, but you can't like see what's inside the art books because it's all shrink wrapped. Unfortunately. Time to freshen up in the toilet and go to Avenue K and see whether I can get some food and drinks for free.